Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the Toad Sticker Channel, and today I'm doing another knife unboxing. And I wasn't really planning on doing an unboxing of this knife because this isn't like a real new production knife or rare or anything else. But when I got it in the box, <laughs> oh, look how big the box is. So it made me, yeah, I gotta do an unboxing. And I gotta tell you right now, um, this is a cold steel knife and I got it on sale. It was on sale for 58 bucks. And I think at that price, it's probably not the best, but the most pocket knife you can get for the money. Um, this is the uh, 4Max Scout, I believe it's called, from Cold Steel. And it was on sale on Amazon for 58 bucks. It was on sale everywhere. A lot of places had it on sale. Um, I'm not sure what the deal was, but at that price, I thought, man, I can't pass it up just to have one. So, oh, look at that. Great big giant box. And inside the big giant box is, oh, now I see why it's not folded. It's a bubble pack. Holy cow, look at that. Just even in the bubble pack, it's huge. <laughs> look at the size of this knife. Holy cow. This right here is a special edition. Uh, let me zoom in just a little bit. This right here is a special edition of the Benchmade 710, which is a 710 is a big knife. I believe it's like three and three quarter inch blade or something like that. And look, it just, it's tiny compared to this knife. The 4 Max Scout. Uh, yeah. Uh, this ought to be pretty funny. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, featuring the Triad Lock. Maximum strength and performance. Look at this. EDC Everyday Carry. <laughs> oh, anytime, anywhere. A US 10 stainless steel Gervex handle. <laughs> 10.2 ounces. All right, 10 inches overall. Six inch handle, four inch blade. 4.8 millimeter thick steel triad lock for superior strength. Um, I'm going to say right now, first, before I pop this open, we pull it out. Uh, although I do think that Cold Steel is a pretty good company, my personal experience with Cold Steel has been horrid, horrible, horrible. I've had terrible luck with them. Uh, almost, I can think of... Out of seven or eight cold steels I've bought, three of them didn't have issues. And the only one I have left is a Tough Light. Um, probably the best one I ever got was a Voyager. Uh, I've literally, I've bought cold steel knives, opened them up, took them out of the pack, and had screws fall out of them. That's how bad my luck has been. And I've had, and I've said that to people, and they're like, oh, you're a fool of crud, you just don't like cold steel knives. No, I do like cold steel knives. Um, I just have had, in my experience, terrible luck. So let's see if we can get this thing out of here. Let's try this guy. So I'm gonna do this in front of my face because I don't want to cut myself opening a bubble pack. Look at that and talk amongst yourselves for a second. Why do they send it with the blade out? In a bowl pack where you gotta wrestle it out. Holy crap, look at this thing. <laughs> I have extra large hands. They're big. But compared to this knife, <laughs> not so much. That's actually quite not bad at all. You can finger flick it. I mean, 
Is it ergonomic? Well, yeah, it's huge. Of course it's ergonomic. It's big and it's thick and it goes in hand really easy. I'll zoom out just a little bit. I mean, yeah. That's probably how I'll open and close it. Uh, why? Why? Well, for one thing, because it was on sale, 58 bucks, you can't beat it for that much knife. That really is the most folding knife for the money. Um, the Triad Lock's an excellent lock. Cold Steel usually does really nice grinds on the blade. This is no different. I can tell really quickly by looking at key spots that there is no issues. Plunge grinds behind it, back, the back of the edge. It's actually not ground too awfully bad for this big and thick of steel. I mean, the fit and finish on the knife, just as a quick glance, is really good. It's really good. Um, and I've never used Aus 10 steel before. So this gives me but cut, almost cut me really close. <laughs> Um, so this gives me a chance to try it out Aus 10. And this, I think, will make a great, like, bug out bag, go bag, or truck knife, vehicle knife. Uh, if you needed a knife that, you know, I would have absolutely no fear of batoning with this, chopping with it, uh, anything. I mean, two reasons. The price, for one. And just the size and the weight and the mass of it and the excellent, really an excellent lock. This seems crazy. Crazy, crazy. I mean, look at it. This is a pretty good knife. Pretty good sized knife. This is the turbo. <laughs> From uh, Monterey Bay Knives. And look at it. Look at it. Here it is next to potato peeler. That's my cat making noise. Um, yeah, shocking. Shocking. Anyway, there it is. Uh, there will be a review of this knife eventually down the line. I am going to try to use it and see how it is. Uh, I might do a special video of that. I might take it out and start a fire with it or something. Um, I'm gonna sharpen it, it needs sharpening. It's not super sharp. It's not bad, but it's not super sharp. Not, I mean, it's, I'm kind of surprised cold steels are usually sharper than that, but holy cow, what a massive knife. What a massive knife. And I have a cat in my lap now. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed this video, this unboxing. Um, if you haven't already, please like and subscribe and leave a comment. And stick around to the channel because um, in the future, I am going to be doing some giveaways, I hope, someday. So, um, we'll see when we get around the right number of subscribers. And I guess uh, Arthur is saying that's it. So have a good night, everybody. Toad Sticker out.